everybody. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, makeup sponsors and how to get sponsored yourself. Um, I'm a new beauty guru on YouTube, as I'm sure you all know already, and um, I've actually had it pretty good. I've had my videos up for two weeks, and I've already gotten three sponsors. So I'm going to show you guys how to kind of do the same thing, you know, give you a little bit of input. So I'm just, I made a list of things to talk to you guys about, so I'm just going to get to it. Um, first of all, I am not sponsored by NYX or Annabelle. As many times as I get asked that question, I am not sponsored by either of those companies. I just prefer those two brands um, over a lot of other ones. So next thing is, I just got my first three sponsors in the last week or so. I had my videos up for, I think I said 11 days, 11 or 12 days, and I got my first sponsor. And then, you know, a few days later, um, actually yesterday, yesterday I got my other two. So, um, very excited about those. Um, rule number one about getting sponsorship, um, go find them, don't make them find you. Um, chances are unless you have hundreds and thousands of views, they're not going to find you so easily and therefore, you know, they're not really going to respond to that. Um, so go find them, track down some websites, just Google. Like all I did was just Googled for like three hours, four hours and just responded and applied for as many as I could, as many that I liked, you know? Um, and also, if you go find their site instead of making them find you, it shows initiative and it shows that you actually want to sponsor, like you want to like use that brand, you actually like their site. Um, which brings me to my next point. Don't apply for um, sponsorship on a site that you don't really like because if you don't really actually think or feel that you're gonna wear that makeup that you want, um, like if you if you're applying for a site and you don't really like what they have on there or you can't really see a lot that you do like, don't apply for it. Just be honest with yourself at least. Um, don't make a company go through all the work of, you know, sending you the things and then not actually liking them, not using them, or just plain not doing a review just to get free crap because it's not gonna work. Um, and you're going to ruin it for everybody else because a company, like companies will shut that down to everybody after a while. Um, next thing is, when you're applying on a site for sponsorship, actually do the review. Um, I applied for sponsorship at a website called mylipstuff.com. Turns out they were doing reviews for YouTube gurus, but they aren't anymore because only 25% of the people that they actually sent product to, only 25% of those people did reviews and the rest of them just kept the product. So what you can do is go to www.mylipstuff.com and um, you can buy like a sample size lip balm or a, you know whatever you want from there. Um, it's reasonably priced like it is and um, if you do a review on the product after you buy it from them then um, email them, give them a link to your review video and they'll put you on their website under the media and the PR so, something to kind of do to get your name out there a little bit. Um, next thing is, um, when you're a new guru like myself, chances are you're not going to get paid. I don't know exactly how it works with sponsorships yet because I haven't done my first one yet. I'm still waiting for it. Um, chances are you're, they're going to give you free makeup. They're already giving you the free makeup. And all they want you to do is do a review on it. In the end, you get to keep the makeup. So until you get hundreds of thousands of views, chances are you're not going to get paid for doing the review and get free makeup. That's just not how it works. So you can get that out of your mind. Um, yeah, don't get excited about that. Um, don't beg a company. Like if you've emailed them once and you don't get a response, there's a reason you don't got a response. Um, it's nothing to do with you personally, I'm sure. Just um, don't beg a company. Um, they're not going to like it and they're going to find you kind of annoying. Um, and harassing, so don't do that. Um, take the criticism. If they say no, like a lot of companies will email back and say, you know, no, sorry, we're not doing it anymore, or um, hang on, whatever the case may be. But um, take the criticism, you know, try a different company. Um, if they say no, it's obviously for a reason, so you know, don't get mad or anything like that, and don't feel down on yourself because you didn't do a good enough job, because you probably did. Um, they're just not doing it because a lot of companies won't do it. So um, another thing is spelling. 
make sure you got the best spelling you can, you know, get, you know, if you're younger or whatever, get, um, an adult or get, like, somebody to spell check it for you, um, I went over my email a couple of times before I actually sent it just to make sure that all my spelling was right and I didn't mess up on any words, I got my boyfriend to read it and double check it for me too, and, um, it just looks more professional when you have the right spelling if you're like misspelling a bunch of words especially the company's name or something like that it's a no-go um, if you want to know some sites that do sponsor um, new YouTube beauty and makeup gurus you can message me and I'll tell you guys but I'm not going to share it with the whole world right now because um, I don't want the company to get bombarded with emails of just greedy little people that want free stuff. So if you do want to know some of the companies that do sponsor new um, beauty gurus on YouTube, then you can just message me and um, I'll answer any questions you guys have. I'm pretty open to that. So um, next thing I want to go over really quickly is in your email to them. I'm going to go over this really fast. Compliment their website. Compliment their products. If you like a product, you like a color, you like the name, compliment it. They'll love it. Um, ask them as nicely as you can if you can do a, a review for the company because you're not just going to be like, oh, I want to do a review, so send me some stuff or something like that. Just say, you know, I've been really interested in your company. Um, I've, take, I've taken a look at your website and I really like a lot of the things that you got on here. It's really easy to find my way around the site or whatever you need to do. Just compliment the site. Ask them nicely. You know, don't, don't be rude about it, obviously. Um, Tell them how many subscribers you have, how many friends you have, views, videos, etc. Tell them all that information so they don't have to go and do it themselves. Just give them like a little heads up and a little preview. Um, let them know of any nominations you may have. Um, right now I'm number 12 most subscribed Canada for gurus and I mentioned that. So that that's always a good thing. Um, <sighs> Also, let them know how long you've been on YouTube. Like, for me, I'm like, okay, I've been on YouTube for um, not even two weeks. I've been on YouTube for 11 days, or I've had my videos up for 11 days, and I've already exceeded 100 subscribers and so on. And um, I've had nominations since my first video. I have I think I started at number 27 most subscribed in Canada, and I was excited. So told, tell them that. It does help. Um, look professional in your videos. Don't wear pajamas or anything like that. Like, um... Don't wear like a Scooby-Doo or a Spongebob or Elmo shirts or anything like that. Look, like try and look a little bit professional. Like me, this is my pajamas. I choose to wear um, a little bit nicer clothes for my pajamas. That way my friends never, nobody ever catches me off guard. It actually looks like I tried. Um, you have to be able to sell the product. Um, you are promoting the company. You're reviewing the company. And you're not going to sell something. And a company won't want you to sell something of theirs if you don't look professional, if you don't look like you could sell it. So you have to be able to sell the product. If you're on there in a Scooby-Doo t-shirt and, you know, pajama pants or something, not that they can probably see your pants, but if you're on there in a Scooby-Doo shirt or something like that, then chances are they're not going to want you to promote or do a review on their company or even try and promote their company because it ain't going to work. So, um... I mean, all you really have to do is a shirt, right? Like, it doesn't have to be anything fabulous, so at least try with that. Your hair can't be, like, out to here in a big mess. It has to look like you tried, and, um, so that's probably something that you should know. Um, don't apply for, um, fashion sponsors if you're only based on makeup. Don't apply for makeup sponsors if you're only based on fashion. Plain and simple. Like, if you say, okay, check out my YouTube channel and you're based on makeup like I am so far, if I was to apply to a fashion company, they're not going to want to sponsor me because I haven't been doing clothes at all. Which I'm going to start doing clothes soon because a lot of people have been asking for that, so whatever. Um, tell them about your subscriber base. Look at your YouTube insight daily and just see how like what the age ranges are of the people that are visiting your site, like mine are like girls age 13 to 17 and 18 to 24, 18 to 25, whatever it is, is like the biggest. So tell them that and um, let them know that it is the younger people that are wanting it. And, you know, it might not get you it or it might not like make or break the deal, but it's just something to know. Um... Um, oh, and this is just the last thing. This is just what I had had when I did this. 
So you should have, like, the, for requirements, um, it'd be nice if you had at least 200 friends because then they can see that you do have a friend base on there and um, a network going, so then chances are really good. Um, have about 100 or more subscribers. You know, that's not a lot to ask for. Most people have to have, like, a 1,000 before companies will consider them, but for the more basic companies, 100 plus subscribers. I had 111. Yeah, 111 when I first applied for my first one. Um, have about 3,000 combined channel views, and that's your upload views and your channel views combined. About 3,000. Um, and have about 20 videos, 15 to 20 videos, you know, tutorials, whatever to do with makeup or fashion or whatever you're applying for. And, um, yeah. And make sure you mention all that information in the email because they'll really enjoy not having to go to your page to find this information. So, I hope you, I've helped you guys, and if you guys have any more questions, you can definitely email me um, for some links to some sponsors to help you guys out. I'd be more than happy to do that. And uh, yeah, don't forget to comment and subscribe to my page because I'm having an amazing contest right now, and you're not going to want to miss it. It is international, so watch out for that, and I'll talk to you guys later.